The Hayes area in the backyard and grounded is one of the most dangerous places. It was made even more treacherous with the hot and hazy update. Now in addition to infected mites and infected weevils, there are infected gnats, infected larvae, and infected ladybugs. There are also strange spores which explode if you get too close. All in all, the Hayes area might be the most hazardous place to visit. Fortunately, there is a way to make it a little easier to navigate, and that's by turning off the haze. In this video, I'll show you how to turn off the haze, as well as give a quick tour of what it looks like when the air is clear. If you're not subscribed to the channel, now is a great time to do so so you never miss any future grounded videos. Let's get started. So to turn off the haze, you're going to need three things. You're going to need a gas mask so you can enter the haze area. You're going to need the black ant shovel, which is the tier 2 shovel. And you get that from black ants, which you can find primarily around the trash pile, the sandbox, and around the picnic table. And last but not least, you're going to need gum. Gum, the best place to find gum is underneath the deck, which if we look at the map, this is the deck. There's a ton of gum under here. There's also gum available underneath the picnic table. Not sure if there's any other spots yet, but this is definitely the best place. There's a lot of gum underneath the here. And this is also used in smoothies, but today we're going to be using it to turn off the haze. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to build up to it. So you're going to need to build, bring some kind of building resource with you to get to these pieces. In this case, since I'm in creative, we're just going to use the clover clover roof here. We're going to build up to it. We're going to have our black ant shovel out, and we're just going to hit it. And as you can see, after it breaks, it drops a couple of pieces, which are going to look like dry grass somewhere. Where did they go? They're over here. So they kind of look like the dry glass in the plant fire, but this in case they're gum nuggets. So now that we got the gum nuggets, what we want to do is we want to go over to the weed killer container over here and we want to get up on top of it. So you can get up here by climbing up this stick over here. So we are right here on the edge of the deck and you can get up here by these rocks. There's a, this rock over here you can jump up onto, get up onto this rock. Then we're going to come up here onto the stick. We're going to walk up here. We're going to come over here to the handle. The nozzle and the handle to the weed killer. Go all the way up top here. And then we're going to see this hole over here. This crack right here says weed killer, more like hoops killer. There's got to be something around here to plug that up. So you can plug it up with the gum. And when you plug it up, you get the cinematic. And as you can see, what it does is it turns off the weed killer because the weed killer was leaking from the container. So let's take off our mask real quick so and get a better view. And as you can see, everything's clear now. Now, the only downside to this, we're going to take a tour of the haze area. This is going to make it much easier to see where things are. So we're just going to quickly fall down here while I'm talking. The one thing that is currently happening is this will turn back on at some point. I'm not sure how long it was. It was less, I'm pretty sure it was less than a day. So I don't know if that's intentional. It has to be intentional because when you go back up to it, you can't replug it. So I'm, or it has to be unintentional, I believe. And then you can't replug it up and you can't get rid of the gum that's in there. So hopefully that's going to be addressed before the final patch comes out for this update. And as you can see, there are a ton of infected bugs here. They are everywhere. We got a milk molar down there. This is a good place to find mint shards. There's quite a bit of mint shards down here, as well as crow feathers for some reason, because the crow, I think, lands on top of the weed killer. And as you can see, if you're wandering through here, it's quite dangerous. It's going to be much easier to do it when the haze is not present, so you can actually see what's up in front of you. Specifically, like you got an infected ladybug there. That's That thing's going to be pretty dangerous. And there's all these canyons that were... I'm not sure if these canyons were here before, I don't remember them being here before, but I didn't spend a lot of time in here. But down in these canyons, you're going to see crow feathers. You're going to see mint chunks. You're going to see a lot of quartzite. There's a couple spots that have a decent amount of quartzite down here. So if you're looking to make the upgrade your weapons, this is a great spot to come to. But since right now, at least on the test server, the haze will come back. I would recommend planning this out accordingly and just coming it, plugging it up and then immediately wandering around the haze searching for everything you want to get out of here because it's going to be much easier than wandering through here when the haze is in the in place and all these dangerous insects that are infected since it doesn't since it's not permanent i'm not sure if it would actually make the infected insects go away or if this 
a fungal growth will grow away. I don't believe it will. So it's going to be interesting to see whether or not this was intentional or if this was if it's intentional for it to go away or if it's if that's the, or if it's unintentional. I'm hoping it's unintentional because honestly the haze area is already dangerous enough with all these infected insects, especially the larva and the ladybug. So hopefully they're going to fix that and when we plug that thing up, it will never have to uh the haze area will just be it'll still be here with the insects that we can farm, but overall they will just be gone. And as you can see, there's also tons of other insects down here that have wander their way in here and there's a gold uh, milk morsel down there and the other thing that they added to the haze was the exploding fungus stuff down here so let's just walk down here this stuff explodes the strange spore i haven't encountered it in survival yet i would imagine it does a decent amount of damage so anyway that's how to turn off the haze like i said right now it's not permanent hopefully that gets fixed at some point or before the patch comes out i'm hope i'm really hoping that's the case because if you can only do it one time and you're going to really have to plan it out accordingly. But you can do it for now. And as you can see, there's some more gum under here. So there's gum all underneath the deck. It's going to be much easier to farm this stuff if there's no haze down here. Because you'll be able to have better armor. So anyway, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, make sure to click the like button. If you want to support the channel even more, there's channel memberships down below. You can click the join button or click the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.